How's it going everybody? I just wanted to make this quick yapping video talking about a specific game that I am super excited about that every single time that they keep showing off a trailer for or just more gameplay of this game, the better and better it keeps looking in my own personal opinion. And that game is of course The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Now when the game was first announced I was actually pretty excited. In fact I actually went ahead and uploaded my reaction video here on my YouTube channel. Oh? This is Zelda? <gasps> Wait, what is this? And uh, I was pretty excited. It looked like just another Legend of Zelda game uh, in the same art style of Link's Awakening. When it came to the world and stuff, it did. I didn't really think that it was gonna be a big, massive world in the same vein as, of course, the open world 3D Zelda games that we've been getting with Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. I honestly thought that at most, probably the the bigness, I guess, of the world that would be would be kind of in the same length or same everything like as in Link's Awakening. No, the more they keep showing off this game, the more and more it keeps seeing, the more it keeps showing to be more than just another standard 2D Zelda game. Like this time around, of course, you're actually playing as Zelda. You're not playing as Link. You're gonna be traversing the entire world of Hyrule, either using the echoes that you find, trying to solve a lot of puzzles and just trying to find ways to climb every sort of little area. You can also go ahead and traverse Hyrule using a horse, um, which is super cool. And I correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't ever remember there ever being a horse or a rideable horse that you can ride in any 2D Zelda games, unless I'm just tripping and going crazy here. But yeah, they're actually copying a lot of different styles from like even Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom when it comes to the menus that those games share. This seems to be sharing the exact same kind of menu where how you can just go ahead and flip flop the types of echoes that you can use. Um, the same goes with changing the way how Zelda looks and I'm going to assume that most likely when you are wearing the different outfits that Zelda has, she will likely be able to get brand new and newer looking abilities. And of course, it also having in a weird, in a weird way kind of a dark world type of world World called the still world basically it seems like a lot of things are just corrupted in that world and are frozen in time and basically zelda has to go in there i'm going to assume you have to go into the rifts that they're talking about when they show it off in the trailer where you zelda has to go into those rifts maybe do some form of puzzles and platformer to get to this certain precision or even fight a boss um, i'm hoping that the rifts aren't actually the dungeons in this game i'm hoping there's actual real dungeons that you can actually explore and go into but i'm just going to guess here that the dungeons in this seem like um it's just going to be you going into these rifts and basically killing the boss and then because of that a certain area or portion of the map that was engulfed in this whole darkness or still really gonna reverse back and basically return Hyrule into or at least that area into a normal kind of area for you to explore when you go back but no I'm actually really really excited for this game this game actually seems to be a really massive 2d Zelda game and in a weird way I'm the way how it looks and the way how it's structured it seems like it could also even have some of those open world elements and by open world elements I mean more so in the vein of like either a link between worlds on the 3ds where it is semi you know it is open world and you're able to go ahead and potentially go to any dungeons in whatever order you'd like but I also think that it might have a little bit of a structure there you know when it comes with the still world and the rifts that you can go into to go into said world but who knows again this is just me talking completely blind just because again i really do refuse to see anything like i also love the fact that you have a sword fighter form which basically transforms zelda into this ghost-like figure of like link and she's able to go ahead and use a sword which seems to have a stamina bar that you're able to use it for only a certain amount of time they've talked about how the only way for you to fill up this bar is when you go into the still world so and you collect these little like orbs or these blue kind of triangle shaped kind of orbs and stuff and then of course at the end of the most recent trailers and stuff they also showed off that you're, it seems like you're going to be fighting a dark version of link which i mean makes sense and some of the other zelda games you actually fight like a dark uh, you know kind of possessed version of zelda so in this game i figured you know it, it would kind of make sense for zelda to actually fight a dark version of link at first i was very worried that this game was going to be it being more so more focused on puzzles and just the platforming aspect of it which i i mean i love puzzles and platformers as well regardless it being it having the title of the legend of zelda on it i would still play it regardless so no matter what i will be playing this game just showing on how much echoes you can get and then also just the sword fighter mode and how everything just seems to be looking it really seems to be very uh 
more puzzle oriented that's for sure which i mean it makes sense it's you know based off zelda you know her herself and her using her wisdom just seeing how massive and grand this world seems to be and just the interactions between all the other characters make me really excited it also makes me excited to see or find out where like this game weirdly takes place in the timeline if they're still caring about the timeline when it comes to nintendo I, it's just crazy seeing the two versions of the zoras uh gorons being there deku scrubs you know the the great deku tree uh just a bunch of different types of characters and cast that they're bringing into this game it just makes me very very excited and as well also just now that i'm talking about the cast and characters i also just forgot to bring up try who is basically zelda's new companion friend in this game and who seems to be a huge key character that you're gonna be of course hanging out with and interacting with and i mean just see here in the name try and you know her, him giving you or it giving you the uh the tri rod and stuff it makes it seem like it might be potentially linked to like either the triforce or something i don't know that's just all that i'm kind of thinking about especially if you look at the design of try on top of his head he seems to have three little like triforce kind of pieces on top of his head like little like I don't know I'll, I'll post a picture right there in front of you and i'll put an arrow pointing of what exactly i'm talking about but i don't know it just seems like kind of suspicious if you guys know what i mean but yeah that's gonna be it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this rambling session um let me know what you guys think of echoes of wisdom if you guys are excited for the game as i am other than that i'll talk to you guys all later bye guys